What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I want to share with you a pretty embarrassing story. I just recently made a horrible mistake and this is not clickbait, hashtag emotional, this is none of that, this is for real. And I guess the only thing I can really say about all of this is, you know, not every time am I going to get it right. And there will most certainly be times where I make mistakes. Unfortunately for me in this situation, it's a horrible one that I've made. Now, before I get into this story, I want to I wanna address some other things real quick. You know, it was just this past Saturday that marked three years since I've been released from prison. Saturday was my three-year anniversary. October 13th of 2015 was when I was first released, and it's been three years since then. And you know, to look at my life then or to look back on my life, I could have never imagined being in the position where I now am. You know, this is something that you might not know, but do you know that After Prison Show is the largest prison-related YouTube channel in the world? That's a pretty unbelievable thing to think about, and that's something that I'm really proud of. I'm really proud of everything that we've been able to accomplish here with After Prison Show, and it is entirely in thanks to all of you who rock with this channel. And you know, it was just recently when After Prison Show was featured in an article written by RVA Magazine, an awesome guy by the name of John. Special thanks to this guy, John. Special thanks to Dave who put this together. By the way, for any of you guys wondering where Dave's been, Dave has been extremely sick. And I'm not going to have him back until he is fully well. I do not want to catch whatever it is that he has. But special thanks to John from RVA Magazine. Special thanks to Dave who went and met with Reggie. It's with thanks to all of those people that that article was even possible in the first place. So I guess I wanted to mention all of those things to you guys first and foremost because those are things that I haven't had a chance to tell you guys about and I've really wanted to tell you guys about. And you know, no matter how much good there ever is, there could oftentimes be some bad things that come along as well. And the story that I want to share with you, this horrible mistake that I made, is a perfect example of that. And so again, what all of this is about is something that just happened this past Friday. And it was on this past Friday where we uploaded this video that I thought was a really solid video. Now this was something new, something that we had never really done before, and that is where I'm telling you guys a story and then also trying to incorporate with that story like some action scenes, some filler footage, some skits that play right along with that story that I'm telling you guys. Sort of like a narrated movie. And you know, one of the many things that I've learned throughout the three years that I've been home from prison and also the three years that it's been since I've created After Prison Show is not every video that we upload is gonna be a banger. Not every video is gonna be perceived and received the way that, you know, I feel about the video. If I feel the video is a really solid video, there's a good potential that when I upload that video, it could sometimes have a complete adverse effect, meaning that people don't really rock with it the way that I feel or hope that they will. Um, but this video that we uploaded on Friday was a great example of that. It was a story time video that I was sharing with you guys with all these skit scenes incorporated with it. It was also an attempt for me to try to tell you guys like a spooky story, even though with that, I was trying to make it as funny as I possibly could. But on Friday when we made that video public, and mind you, by this point, I had already watched this video like three times. We did the early access on Patreon, on Twitch, to the subscribers on Twitch, to the people who are sponsors here on After Prison Show on YouTube. I had watched this video a couple of times by this point, and I was just so, I don't know, I was just really feeling this video. I was really feeling like my acting in this video, even though it was probably cringe AF. I guess I just can't emphasize the fact that I thought this was a really solid video. But it would be after we made this video public, probably about an hour or two hours afterwards, that I would hear my phone going off with some sort of a notification. And when I looked at my phone, it was an email saying, Joe, you need to take that video down. You need to take the video down? Why, why would you say that? I thought that was a solid video. Obviously, you weren't a fan. I spent most of my time in my boxers. I get it. Okay, you're not a fan. Damn, my phone. <sighs> can't be dropping my phone like that. I open up this email, and what I read, I can't even believe. You take this video down? What, what you talking about anyway? Joe, you just showed your balls. Wait a minute. What? I mean, this email didn't even say anything else. It didn't even say like, hey, Joe, good afternoon. I mean, this thing jumped straight to the point. When I read this email, I couldn't even believe this. I thought to myself, okay. I get it. You know, we just uploaded a video. I was making a lot of jokes saying that I filmed most of the videos in my boxers, you know. And I need to, I need to confess something. I, I, was, I was kidding when I said that. I lied. I don't usually film. Look, I got pants on. I'm not in my boxers. I only did that for the added emphasis trying to be funny. That was not correct at all. That was not accurate. That was not true. I'm sorry I lied. I, but again, I was just trying to be funny. So as I'm thinking about that, I'm like, okay, well, you know, there was this scene where I was walking down the stairs and, you know, you could kind of see up my leg a little bit, but you couldn't see nothing. You can't see nothing. 
And you know, I thought that's what this person was talking about in this email. So basically, as soon as I read this, I just put the phone down. Okay, I get it. I don't usually do videos in my boxers half naked. Okay, maybe I showed a little too much leg. I put the phone down and I went back to doing exactly what I talked about doing in that video. Right back to playing the video game. Playing Tom Clancy's The Wildlands. And look, I want to I want to I want to kind of bring up one other point as well. You know, I I'm a fan of self-deprecating humor, self self-depreciate however you word that. Where you make fun of yourself, I got no problem doing that. And I'm also a realist when I do that. But I mention all of that to say this. You want to know how irrelevant After Prison Show is? I mean, we really irrelevant. Joe, you got 1 million subscribers. You get 20 or 30,000 views on a video. I get it. But I legitimately enjoy creating this content. I would be just as happy with the views that we get now if we were getting like a million views. That's a lie. That is a lie. I would be a lot more happy, actually. Maybe someday. Or maybe not. But After Prison Show... It is pretty irrelevant, and this is how I prove it. You know, I talked about in that spooky story time video with all them skit scenes, how as soon as I upload the video, I'm right on the PlayStation playing Tom Clancy's Wildlands. And during this time when I was looking at this email, I was doing exactly that. I had already cried over the comments section. I was done with that. I'm back to playing the video game. You know, not one person tried to jump in my game. Maybe that was like a cry for help. Maybe when I said that, how when I thought somebody was in my house and it ended up being somebody joining my game, you know, maybe that's what I was hoping would happen the entire time. And if that was the case, well, then that plan failed miserably. Because ain't nobody joined my game. I was solo for Dolo, all by my lonesome on the couch playing the PlayStation with a bag of pretzels right beside me. But I went back to playing the game. Didn't think nothing else of it. Again, maybe I just showed a little too much leg, whatever. A little more time would go by, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, and there would be another notification that went off on my phone. Except this time it wasn't an email. This time it was a tweet. And when I opened up Twitter, let me see who's tweeting me. Hey, just saw your balls today, Joe. Thanks. What? What? Oh, this can't be right. I just got an email about this 30 minutes ago. Now I'm getting a tweet? Well, now I've got an email and a tweet. So maybe, maybe, uh, maybe there's a little cause for concern at this point. And you know, no sooner than I would get that tweet, I would get a message on Instagram. Same thing. At this point, with an email, a tweet, and a DM on Instagram, I now have to go watch this video for like the fourth time. And like I had said earlier, I had already watched this video like three times prior, prior to even making this video public. And I wasn't watching this video to try to see if we made any mistakes. I was watching this video because I genuinely enjoyed it. And you know, I was hoping that people worldwide would enjoy it as well, but it, well, that wouldn't be the case neither. I start watching this video again for like the fourth time, only solely trying to key in, trying to pay attention to see if, yes, indeed, you can, in fact, see my balls. And lo and behold, I reach a part in the video where I'm sitting in the chair. My legs are open. And you can see shadows is what you can see. I do not see any circular objects. I don't see none of that. All I see is some shadows. I just see darkness. I don't see what people are tweeting and emailing and DMing me. I don't see none of that. And I want to believe, okay, this is this this has just got to be what it is. I want to believe that, you know, if you want to see something, you're going to see that. But then again, on the flip side of that coin, being me, put yourself in my shoes. I don't want to see that. So maybe that's the reason why all I'm seeing are shadows. I see some darkness right there. You can see a lot of lag. I mean, it's not, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I'm in absolute panic mode because now I don't know what to do. My God, did I just upload my balls to the internet? That's the first thought going through my mind. I'm running around. I'm trying to edit the video after it's already gone live. I wasn't able to do that. I don't know what to do. My wife gets home from work. The first thing that she says to me is, hey, honey, how was your day? I uploaded my balls to the internet today. Wow, just jump right into it. Not even a good afternoon. Hope your day is going well. Just right there, straight to the point, huh? I'm looking for reassurance. I'm looking for comfort. I'm looking for support. I'm hopeful that when I'm showing my wife this video, you know, she's going to be like, Joe, you can't, you're right. All you can see are shadows. That You don't see nothing. But when I show my wife the video, she says to me, oh yeah, right there. Yep, you can, you, yep, you can see him. Yeah. Man, what, 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 you're supposed to be on my side, baby. You're supposed to be on my side. You can't. What have I done? Look, folks, I am a firm believer that this whole situation was blown out of proportion. I watched this multiple times. You couldn't see nothing. If you want to see it, then that's what you're going to see. But again, it was just shadows. That's all there was there. Shadows. But the unfortunate reality would be 
that I would end up having to remove this video entirely. I didn't want to have to do that, but you know, it is what it is. I made a horrible mistake, a lapse in judgment. I should have been paying more attention for whatever reason. It slipped, literally, I guess. And you know, because of this mistake, we lost what I thought was a really great video. So, you know, I do apologize. I do apologize that that video no longer exists. That video has been terminated, cut to pieces. It's, it's been scrap piled. In fact, we've taken some organs from that video to use in this video, and that's all that will ever be of that video. That video is gone. Not every video is gonna be a banger, and in fact, sometimes you might actually have a nut slip. But with all of this, you know, there's some crazy things that come to mind. And one of those things is, you know like how some YouTubers, they'll be like, hey, if we hit one million subscribers on this channel, one million nudes at one million. I don't know where that ever came from, but you know what? If After Prison Show hadn't already been keeping it 100 with all of y'all, well, it would most certainly appear that we most certainly did right there. It's almost like I accidentally leaked my own nudes. Wow. Like anybody really wants to see that. And you know, I can't emphasize to you guys enough just you know, how embarrassing this situation was. It was really embarrassing. Uh, but you know, with the topic of this video being circular objects, you know, this reminds me of a prison story about the exact same thing. And in fact, this would be sort of like a prison prank that this guy I was serving time with was kind of famous for. He was a funny dude. You know, I fancy myself as trying to be sort of a funny guy, but this dude, oh, this dude was funny. And this guy's name was Sky. He was a Patriots fan just like me. He was a funny dude. I really liked this guy while I was serving time. And you know, there was this one time when this guy was sitting in his chair and he had this box on his lap. It was like a cardboard box. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was like a saltine box where he cut like one side of it out so, you know, you could see into the box. And in the box, he had like all this grass and some twigs and like just all sorts of stuff that he had picked up from outside on the rec yard. And when I walked by this guy, he was sitting in his cut and he was kind of like messing around with the box. I could see him in there and he was like moving some things around. I could just see his hands moving. And of course, me being nosy, and trust and believe me when I tell you, a lot of other prisoners fell for this exact same thing. You know, I see him messing with the box and I'm walking by and I'm like, hey, Sky, what you, what you, what you doing with that saltine box? What, you got an animal in there? He says, yeah, Joe, come here. I got, I got some baby birds in this box. Baby birds? Where'd you get them from, man? What you gonna do with them? You gonna put them in the microwave and make a swirl? I mean, what, what, you, what, you got some pets? He says, nah, Joe, it's just the eggs. Come here, come check these eggs out. I'm gonna hatch these eggs. You know, I had never heard or seen anything like this before while I was locked up, so I was definitely intrigued by this. I walked right over to the box. I look inside of the box, sitting on his lap. I can see the grass clippings in there. I can see the twigs in there. And he's got like a little nest made inside of this box with like some pine straw. And he's got these two eggs sitting right there in the box. And when I see this, I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I don't know nothing about bird eggs. You probably got to keep these things warm or incubated or something. I don't know how you're going to hatch these. I know there's other guys that I was serving time with that were taking duck eggs. They would go find these duck nests, get the eggs, and they were cooking and eating these. So, you know, I got all these crazy things going through my mind. And something else going through my mind is I ain't never seen no bird eggs that look like this. They almost look like some little dinosaur eggs. And Scott's just sitting there with the box in his lap as I'm looking at these eggs. And he's like, yeah, Joe, hey, touch them. Touch them. They're warm. And, you know, I went to put my hand in that box. And as soon as my hand got close, I thought, what? Wait, that ain't no dinosaur bird egg. That ain't, that ain't no bird egg. Those things look like dinosaur eggs. But that ain't no eggs. Those is not no eggs. Those are your balls. I almost touched this man's circular objects that he told me were bird eggs. I fell for this. He's laughing. I got you. I got you. I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm feeling like I almost got violated. Man, what you, hey, man, you can't be, you can't be playing with people. Like, man, we in prison. We don't play like that in prison. You know how silly I felt right there? I mean, I came this close, this close. I was feeling the warmth as my hand was getting closer to it. And it was just right before I was about to touch it that I realized those weren't no bird eggs. And again, like I had said, I wouldn't be the only person to fall for this. Others would as well. And I'm pretty sure nobody ever actually touched them. I'm sure when like somebody got real close, he would like move them away real quick. Dude, they ain't no bird eggs. Those ain't no eggs right there. Those was my balls. And surprisingly, you know, this dude would never end up getting to fighting behind this. Because, you know, there's this saying, you know, you can only laugh and joke so much while you're serving time. And there's certain things that you just don't be doing no laughing and joking about. And this has to be. This has to be one of those exact things. And surprisingly, I can't remember ever hearing about this dude getting to fighting behind this little prison prank right here. So I just wanted to share that prison story with you guys right there. It's kind of ironic and sort of similar to, well, actually, it's not really similar to mine at all. I didn't show nothing. I didn't have no bird eggs inside of a box. You saw shadows. That's all it was. And no shadows will never, ever be seen again. Ain't no leaked nudes of Joe. Anyway, I hope not. 
I apologize, and I feel super embarrassed about that situation, and I just wanted to bring an awesome video. What I learned from that is, no matter how many times we rewatch and look through what we've edited, if there's ever a situation where I'm filming in my boxers, which there probably will never be one of those again because I'm absolutely traumatized now, uh, we got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Hey, look, that's it. I just wanted to share this crazy story with you guys and uh, talk about some really crazy things with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace! I can't believe I showed my balls.